There's no point in doing this, this looks embarrassing. I'm brushing my forehead at this point. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another vlog. As you can see from the beginning, I was redefining my hair. I got my roots retied yesterday and my head is like, you got, where are my edges? Where are my edges? Um, it's all in there so it's really really like nice and neat but my head is super tight but I had to kind of revive the ends because they've been like woven through over and over for a few hours so they were very puffy and now um, the ends are a little bit more defined <sighs> I feel like I look so weird because my head is just booming but um, I'm really happy my roots are cleaned up Everything looks nice and tight and it's not so frizzy and I don't have to hide my hair under my wigs for a little bit, um, for like a couple months. So from the last vlog, I left off where I was, you know, taking down this whole room. So I will show you guys the update on that. I feel like I've made pretty good progress. The next things I have to do is kind of declutter my dressers that I have in this room and in my bedroom because they just need to be decluttered. There's a lot of stuff in there that I just haven't touched in like, if I haven't touched it in over a year and a half, two years, then it can go. Over here are some packages that I have received from my registry, don't mind the double boxes, um, but those are a few things that I'm just putting aside and preparing. I'm so grateful for friends and family already sending me stuff even though they're coming to the shower. I don't know, I don't know, I just didn't expect it. Let me show you guys something. This package I got is from a brand called Ever Eden. I saw them online and I, I, I've always like seen their products and I was like, oh, maybe when I'm pregnant, I'll try it. But um, they're available in Canada now, which they weren't before. So I messaged them and I was like, hey, can I have some products? And they were like, yeah, sure. So anyway, so they sent it to me and it's the cutest thing. And then on the inside, they have baby body wash and shampoo, baby face cream, like a belly serum for like obviously the pregnant woman, um, baby soothing massage oil, baby lip balm. I was like, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. And um, nourishing stretch mark cream. So I guess you can use this during your pregnancy and after. And then on the bottom, there's like a belly mask. So cute. 10 out of 10. Like I was... I can't even touch or open anything because I'm like, this package is just beautiful. I need to like, I don't know, make a video with it. Ta-da! So this is the half that I have cleared. So it'll go all the way down. Just ignore that guitar there for now. We'll deal with that later. Um, so up here will be like the little hanging organizer thing. And then down here will be those little plastic drawer organizer things. So today I'm going to spend the next few hours actually trying some recipes, some actual, like some baking recipes. If you don't know, now you know. During the pandemic, I was selling cupcakes um, just as a hobby because if you know me, you know I love baking and it's always been a huge passion of mine, but I've never been able to actually pursue it because to bake you need, you know, a kitchen, you need space, you need time, you need equipment. And then when I got married, I had my own space, I had my own kitchen, and then I was like, oh, pandemic, people are home, we have time, let me do this. So it was perfect timing. So I did that and it was amazing and it was so fulfilling for me. And then, you know, life got busy, I put it on hold. I was, you know, focusing on YouTube and then any, so much stuff. So then pandemic slows down, I'm like, ah, I don't know if it's profitable, I don't know if it's worth my time. I was spending so much time because, you know, starting any new business, there's so much experimenting, especially with baking. It is chemistry, like it is science in the kitchen all day. So I had to figure out my recipes, I had to perfect them. It was taking a lot of time, a lot of trial and error that I did, I could not afford. Anyways, I've missed it so much that I was like, I need to find a way to incorporate this into my life. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna have a very small menu that's only gonna be available on the weekend. So you just pre-order. And that's what you can get 
on the weekends and it'll be fun for me. And something to do on the side that is removed from cameras, removed from social media, removed from my acting and auditioning stuff. Nothing that has to do with the camera and, you know, an audience. Just me in my kitchen baking and making people happy. <laughs> so with that being said, I have to try some recipes today because I don't want to go back to selling like fancy elaborate cupcakes. I want it to be something else. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm thinking like some sort of, I, I'll, I'll show you guys. And I'm gonna spend a few hours doing that. It's already one o'clock, so hopefully it doesn't take me more than three hours, which probably will, which is the hard part about doing this because it needs to be great before you can sell it. You know, I need good pictures, I need all of that. So let's focus on that for the day. All the baby stuff and the decluttering will be put aside for now. And I'm gonna spend the day just in the kitchen. It's gonna be day three of my retrying and rebuilding recipes because the first two days have been a bit of a fail but I have new baking trays that I would like to try that I think might work for what I'm trying to do. Okay, so with everything I make, I always um, start with red velvet first because that's what KB usually likes, so I need someone to taste it and try it. So this is the process. I have my wet and dry mixture. I kind of tweak the recipe looking at someone else's on YouTube, and then I add my own, you know, special touch. So I'm going to put it together and then put them into these little trays that I have to show you guys what I'm talking about. This is already much thicker than my usual recipe, which is what I wanted. But I made the mistake of not sifting the cocoa powder because I was being lazy. And now there's chunks in it, so that's my fault. But you can't beat them out or else you're gonna get a very stiff cake. It's already mixed and there's chunks of cocoa, so I just have to leave it like that. Next time I won't be lazy and I'll actually sift my dry ingredients. Okay, so this, this is my alternate cake pan as opposed to the regular cupcake pan. This is what we're doing and then we're gonna stack them together kind of like a sandwich and that's what's that's what I'm working on because this will save me so much more time Ooh, I need to grease this just in case yeah so something like this will save me so much more time and it'll just be different than my usual cupcakes and I feel like it's just more fun more marketable Okay, so I am finally done. Um, I didn't even get to vlog the whole process because it was actually chaotic. And it was a little bit of trial and error, so I had to redo the chocolate cake. So then when it came to decorating and putting them together, I had to try different things to see what would work. And it was just chaos in the kitchen. Now that I know like what would be going on what, what it would look like, I think it would be much easier next time. But today was just like kind of an experiment. And I think the first successful day trying to make these um and i don't even know what they are they're just they're cakes so i'm gonna show you guys this is the final product um this is vanilla this is like a cinnamon roll flavor so it's vanilla cake with cream cheese frosting and cinnamon sugar this is vanilla sprinkle this is 
double chocolate, double chocolate with sprinkles, red velvet, and just a regular chocolate and vanilla like whoopie pie type of thing. So this is what it took. This is the product of my like, what is it? Six hours of labor because I've been trying to figure this out. Thankfully the trays and the molds or whatever they're called made it so much easier. So this is pretty simple. I just have to, you know, perfect the design of them, perfect the decor. <laughs> is that dramatic for cakes? Perfect the, yeah, the design, right? And um, yeah, I'm gonna taste this, taste test this later. But this is the result. I'm actually pretty happy with them compared to what I made a few days ago. And this box fits six pretty perfectly. Of course, they would have like little parchment papers underneath them. But um, I don't have any right now. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed. I will say it took me way too long to do. But that's what happens when you're testing recipes and testing stuff and trying to figure it out. So... I'm gonna close this and put it aside. They've been in the fridge for a while so they could get nice and sturdy so then I could decorate them easily. And now they're warming up and getting soft. So I'm just gonna close this and we're gonna taste test them later. Okay guys, I am ready to taste these. I, I'm just sitting in my office just so I'm out of the way from the rest of the house. So let's see how it is. It's been out of the fridge for a while, so it should be fine now. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Let's start with vanilla on vanilla. So I'm gonna cut this in half first. This is what the inside looks like. I'm really happy with the proportions, I guess you could say, and how pretty it looks. Tastes like vanilla cake, but if you like vanilla on vanilla, you're gonna like this. Okay. Next is the cinnamon roll, cinnamon sugar cake. Um, this one is getting a little floppy because the cream cheese icing isn't as stable as I need it to be. This is the inside, not as cute as the vanilla, but whatever. Okay, so it's vanilla cake, cream cheese frosting, cinnamon sugar topping mm. really really good i don't even think i'm gonna taste test the sprinkle one because i know it's gonna taste like the vanilla one with sprinkles like my sweet tooth is like done so with that being said let's try Ooh, i didn't mean to touch the top the chocolate with vanilla, so this is like a classic whoopie pie. It looks a little crazy because I haven't perfected the shape yet, but I'm just going to take a bite of this one. I don't want to cut it. I only want a bite. Mmm. This is really good. The chocolate is really good. Next, we have the red velvet. Let's taste it. Mmm. That could actually use even more cream cheese frosting. And then lastly, I'm not even going to be able to bring you guys, show this up super close because it's so messy. This is a double chocolate with sprinkles. Wow. Okay, so that is it for all the flavors I made. I feel like taste-wise, honestly, I'm very, very happy. They all taste really good. But they're quite large. I'm wondering if like one person can eat a whole like sandwich of these. Like that's maybe it's because I've been baking and like I've kind of tasted 
the icing and stuff my like I'm not able to and I just ate a whole meal so maybe that's what it is I don't know what to do from here I think they're really cool I think they're cute I think they're pretty maybe this is a thing maybe it's a thing weirdly enough I'm not a huge chocolate person but the chocolates are so good like I don't know if it's just my appetite the hormones or whatever but I do not like chocolate cake but these two this one and this one really like really really hit the spot and the vanilla was nice I'm not a plain vanilla cupcake girl I mean it's always good vanilla is always good and the cinnamon sugar cinnamon and anything is always my favorite the red velvet did not give me the feeling I wanted it to give me but I think it needed more frosting but it was good like it just wasn't giving me that heavy cream cheese that I like to feel when I have a red velvet but this is yeah Whew, I'm so full but this was really successful these are super cute and um yeah let me know what you guys think like let me know if you would buy these little cake sandwiches and if this is a cute idea. I'm feeling like doing this is much easier than doing full-blown decorated cupcakes, but they taste just as good. And it's a little bit different. Like you can, I don't know, I've never seen this like this, you know? So that being said, KB did come up with a cool name for them. So maybe, maybe this is a thing. Maybe this will be my weekend thing. I'm always so optimistic. I'm always so optimistic about baking and like, doing this on the side until I actually do it and I'm like I'm exhausted because this really did take me like six hours but of course I had no prep no nothing and I was trying different things I was looking at the recipe variations how to do this how to make it denser how to make it more stable you know so the next time I do this I feel like it could be much much faster so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below do you guys think these are cute do you think they're sellable do you think you know they're marketable i'm very happy with them i'm proud of myself this was the third time i tried to make these and the, all the other times were like a complete fail i feel like the thing about me is like i can be really great at so many different things like i'm kind of like a jack of all trades type of person I can do a lot of different things and it's like where do I want to put my energy so I have to be mindful of that like I've always loved baking do I want to put my energy and time into baking I don't know I'm really great with you know technology and filming and doing this stuff on YouTube but is that where I want to put my energy I don't know um, and I've been doing it for so long so obviously it's working and uh yeah good morning guys i did not close off the vlog yesterday because i just was not feeling great after um eating all that sugar like my stomach was like girl <laughs> so after trying all those cakes it was like and i had just eaten dinner i needed a break so i just kind of knocked out for the night and didn't come back to the camera like i was gone and then this morning, I took Roman for a walk, and my patience today is this thin, if I'm being honest. So I'm really praying for some extra grace and patience today because I'm more physically tired, but I have things to do and I have responsibilities, and like I can't just let my dog die. And the poor guy just needs like extra attention and extra exercise that I just can't give him right now. Yeah, I'm looking into getting a dog walker to take him on long, amazing walks and just investing in that so that I can have peace when he's exercised and healthy and like just happy. I am not going crazy, so it's nice to just balance those things out, but it's also not that warm here, so oh my gosh. Anyways, while we're talking, I wanted to open some of these products and see how they smell. The ones I showed you guys yesterday, the Ever Eden ones, if you remember. Dang, this box was not uh, strong. Okay, so I'm only gonna, okay, let me open the Golden Belly Serum. I'm not gonna use it right now just because my belly is already very um, hydrated and greasy from showering. Ooh, yes. I honestly just want to smell it oh oh you know what it kind of smells like honey mm. okay let me just put a little drop 
Droppity drop. Interesting. It smells like honey, which is okay. I'm, I'm cool with that. What oil is in here? So it's primarily avocado oil, which I love for my skin. And rosehip oil. Ooh, this is good. Okay. Everything else, I don't really care about. Those are the two first ingredients. I like it. And then the stretch mark cream. So I guess you could use this as a moisturizer and then put the... Oh my gosh, the packaging though. This is so nice. This is super cute. The It says the main, I guess on the front, I don't know if that's, it's not the first ingredients, but on the front it says jojoba oil, mango butter, and centella. I have no idea what that is, but let's see what... Ooh. Nice and thick. has a light smell, flowery. It smells very natural, kind of like a, it says fragrance free. So I guess it's it smells like the plants that are in it. I'm not too sure. And most of them don't really have strong smells, I don't think. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Can I just open it from here? Yeah, I don't smell anything, okay. That's nice, whatever. But this was very anticlimactic. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be able to like smell and feel everything, but I get it. Anyways, that's basically it for this vlog. Um, I'm going to spend the rest of the week kind of organizing myself when it comes to content. Oh, also, if you guys do not follow me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram. And I also created a new page that's connected to this YouTube channel called Millennial Black Girl on Instagram. And that's where I will show most of my lifestyle content. Um, I feel like my page has become very like personal and just for like my everyday life. If you like that more curated um, home cooking, you know, decluttering, cleaning, like all of that lifestyle stuff that that's more kind of helpful to an audience. I follow that page so you can see all the little tips and tricks and like my progress. I'll post most like the pregnancy and baby stuff on there as well too for the ladies who you know are interested in that because I definitely was even before I was pregnant so um, yeah, so Millennial Black Girl on Instagram and if you would like, if you don't already, follow my personal page as well. So a lot going on. I'm trying to kind of launch that page and really get myself into short form content because I'm getting lost in the race if I'm being honest. Um, sit down videos are just not, not it right now and not probably ever going to be it anymore. But I do love YouTube as a platform, so I guess YouTube shorts might be something I have to adjust to as well. But everything needs to be so catchy and quick that um, if your life isn't ready to be able to catch up, like, you will fall behind. It just so happened that my life kind of exploded while things were changing so quickly. So it's like I could only grab a hold of one thing. It's either me or <laughs> social media, you know, so I had to get a grasp of myself before I can kind of get a grasp of social media. So now it does seem like a lot at once with, you know, getting back into work, possibly starting a weekend baking business and launching that Instagram page slash brand. And then obviously baby on the way. But honestly, it sounds crazy, but I do thrive in like a busy schedule. I don't do well when I have too much time on my hands because then I have too much time to think about stuff. So I just need to have things to do so I can just do them and I can't have time to think. <laughs> I can have time to rest but I cannot be having time to think so um, that's the goal. I feel like in the midst of busyness I do my best. So, And in other news, this pack and play that I was very excited about has arrived and um, I'm so tempted to open it but I probably won't. I'll just leave it alone for now so many fun things. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you in the next one. Bye!